Listen to me very carefully. I want to present the moment you've been waiting for. Geeked Up Radio. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Geeked Up Radio. I'm your host, Ricky, the Jolly Rancher Commander, along with Lalo and Michael. And together we are the Trifecta, the Trinity, the Convex Earth Society. Oh, Grand Viziers. Grand Viziers? Viziers, right? <laughs> I'm not a bra, man. Oh, oh Grand Vizier. <laughs> oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. Uh, no, the, I like that. <laughs> we're the, the chancellors of... We're the great bras. The, there you go. What's up, bra? We're the great bras. Uh, what's what's another grand title? Uh, grand, grand Tetons. Ca- grand, Yeah. <laughs> You know, we're the we're the triple D's. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the convex Earth Society. Because <laughs> the Earth isn't flat, nor is it a globe. It's a slowly slanting hill. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, na 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 nights. How many nights? A Mennonites. <laughs> Anyways, so like I said, Whoa. like <laughs> like in the beginning, today we'll be discussing. Captain Marvel, the the spoiler full uh, podcast today episode, man. Because I saw Captain Marvel, Michael saw Captain Mar- Marvel, Lalo didn't see Captain Marvel, too po. But he's gonna get spoiled anyways. All right. So a lot of things happened. A lot of things uh, were fantastic about the movie. So we'll get into it. And don't forget that after the discussion. Why? Why does it sound like a robot right now? I can't. I can't. I can't <laughs> flow it. After we're done talking about Captain Marvel, we'll get into the cringe news, ladies and gentlemen. So stick around or fast forward. All right. Anyways, now, now that that's over with, that fiasco of tongue tiedness, because I'll I just cut out a bunch of shit about me not being able to say after the. <laughs> <laughs> say that 10 times fast you can't do it after the after the after the after the after the you see you can't say it you're saying apple cheese apple cheese yeah <laughs> anyway that's good stuff. That's good stuff. <laughs> so captain marvel came out friday march 8th i'm gonna give you right now the perfect seven seven i give it a good solid six a solid six out of seven out of seven okay and uh yeah, they're, they're, they changed a lot of things after all the m- months of speculation that me and Lalo have been doing, searching, scouring the internet, watching videos, reading about leaks on Reddit, looking at stupid toy pictures, and to find out that Jude Law isn't Captain Marvel, but as another l- leak person had said, he was Yog, Yog, I can't say his name, Yogbar. Yogs Von, I don't know. Yahtzee. Yahtzee. And and Captain Marvel or Captain Marvel, not even Mar- being Captain Marvel, being scientist Marvel. Marvel. Yeah. Yeah. I mean Mike Michael, tell me, give me your first impressions. Well well let's get through there first. Well, I mean I, I like that they, they switched it up. I, because you're right. They they were just kind of assumed that Jude Law was gonna be Marvel. Yeah. And he wasn't. Um, and what's funny is the the stuff with the comic books. They had the, the relaunching with the comics, kind of get people reacquainted with the character, and then they just completely change the origin of the comics any or in the movie anyway. Yeah, because because you know I have the complete series of the the life of Captain Marvel where they retconned her entire life, <clears throat> and then they yeah. they just threw that under the bus and said, you know what, we're just gonna do it. Okay, we're doing our thing, which is fine. I mean, yeah, I you know I was surprised. It hurts my feelings. Well, who's <laughs> hurts your feelings? Who's that lady that plays Cap? Or who, who's the lady that plays Marvel? Annette Benning. Annette Benning. Yep. I mean, I, man, th- that threw me for a loop, man. Because you know, in the comic yeah. books, you know, she gets the power from the dying Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel, and then it's it, it's just nothing like that at all. Well, okay, technically, she got it from Marvel. It's not directly. 
Not yeah, okay. If you want to spin it that way, yeah. Yeah. But she got her power from the uh the space stone. So it's a base the tesseract. The is tesseract where she got the powers from. Yeah. Just or, like or a, Scarlet an Witch. engine that uses the power of the tesseract. It wasn't even directly from the tesseract either. Well, I mean, what I the way I understood it, it was siphoning power or emulating the power of the tesseract, right? So yeah. So off, yeah. So kind of, she got it from the Tesseract. The Tesseract's in yeah. the movie, Lalo. Did you know that? No, uh-uh. I didn't know that either. A lot of people die yeah. in this movie, like gunshots. And this sounds like a yeah. Hulk movie. Then <laughs> it <laughs> kind of was. It, I, I mean, I mean, it, it was an okay movie. It was an okay movie. A lot of things happen. A lot of things happen very quickly. Samuel Jackson and uh, Phil Coulson. Coulson. Carlson, yeah, uh, he they're in the movie. Their CGI young faces look pretty good. Uh, yeah. yeah, they look real good. I mean, for a long time in the movie, after the initial shock of seeing a young Samuel Jackson again, mm-hmm. I stopped noticing. It was just yeah, it looked realistic to me. I didn't even notice you know, I it anymore. Con- I have to confess, to me, Sam Jackson carried that movie. If if he was not in the movie at all, it it would be half as good as it was. He was funny. And it was, I think yeah. the way he delivers his lines. Be- mm-hmm. And so like a, so, a few a few uh, episodes ago, back in the beginning of Geeked Up Radio, I, Lalo had been here and I talked about how Brie Larson delivered her lines really stale and stuff like that. And I wasn't sure if that was the acting or or her level of acting. You know what I'm saying? If she was like told to act yeah, that way. Maybe it was the character or the yeah. direction. So now I know it's the character. It's the character. Yeah. Because... Uh, she's basically like brainwashed, man, and she's like brainwashed to be like this stoic monster. You know what I'm saying? Uh. And then as she like redevelops humanity, she starts to develop feelings and mannerisms and facial expressions. Besides being a mannequin, killing doll. Yeah. So yeah, that 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 was a whole new thing. I, and the and the with the scroll too. That being them not being the bad guys, that was weird. I love that they switched, that they flipped that. That was great. Oh man, that threw me for a loop. I, I I'm not sure if I like that. I do, uh, but you're right. I mean, it, it's it's kind of contrary to what the whole Marvel comic universe is. Yeah, you know, the scrolls are, are infiltrators. They're the bad guys, and that's that's what we've all grown up with. But how? So, how- how are they ever going to do Super Scroll now? Now that we're sympathize sympathize with them not having a planet being enslaved, eradicated from the universe, almost being eradicated, to them, you know, Super Scroll being a, a super evil villain. Yeah. Well, for one, Super Scroll is really kind of tied to the Fantastic Four, right? Right. So they'd have to have a decent Fantastic Four franchise for them to even worry about Super Scroll. So I wouldn't worry about it for a while. I guess you're right. Ooh. Shut up, Michael. Man, right. you know they're coming at you know they're coming out with <laughs> Fantastic Four in a little bit. Okay, so we we talked about the scrolls. We gave that away. We gave away Annette Benning being Captain or the original Marvel. Marvel. And uh how she got her powers from the Tesseract. So I I want I wanna before we get into like speculation game, I wanna talk more about the movie. What did you th- what did you think about the ending fight scene between Jude Law and Brie Larson? Eh. D- did you expect that? That they that they were going to fight? Yeah. No, but that 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 there was no like climax. It was anticlimactic. There was nothing. They didn't deliver. Uh, to be to be honest, you know the the big knockdown, drag out kind of fight scenes. It just to me, it's boring. So what? I was. It was just. Yeah, I'm not that big into, into the big, you know, SmackDown stuff. Oh man, I I, I like that she was like, uh, I don't need to prove anything to you. She because you know he pulled out his knife and he's getting ready to just like hand to hand combat law. Yeah. and you know because that's the way he trained her. And, and I thought I was like I was about to see some visceral fighting, right? Some kickboxer, you know, blood sport. But no, she just shoots him with her power, and he like flies off. And <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I I will admit that the yeah that that very last I thought you were talking about uh, leading up to it. Oh but yeah, that that part I liked. That was that was interesting because it was it's it's kind of like the end of Jones just pulling out his gun and shooting the guy, and the swordsman instead of. Oh, I never saw it that way. Yeah, 
And yeah. Indiana Jones is owned yeah. by Disney, right? Uh huh. Oh, okay, I see that now. Okay, I like that better now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I like I the mean, reference. It's, it's, it's akin to the same thing. It's like I don't have to prove anything to you. I'll just, you know, you're going to sit there like an idiot, and I'm just going to shoot you. Yeah. I would have liked to seen a, uh, like a full on fight and them get bloody, like you know, like uh, with Bolo and uh, Van Dam. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, you throw sand in her eyes and she'd be like, ah, like that's a that's a Lalo's favorite part part in Bloodsport. Hell yeah, because <laughs> he and, remembers. Yeah, uh, I like the part where Ronan wasn't too much in it. Even though they were all like, oh, Ronan's going to be in the movie, but he wasn't. The guy from Guardians of the Galaxy Part 1, you know, he touches that stone lolo and disappears. Mm -hmm. Well, he's in it for like five minutes. He comes in there with his ships, and then she like flies through the ships. And like that part to me was really fun because she was like, like just destroying the ships with all her power, just having fun. I was like, hell yeah, I'll fucking do that shit. Yeah. And, and uh, she just looked at him, and he just turned tail and ran. Yeah, he fucking he's like, "We'll be back." <laughs> yeah, Looter. Yeah, I have some face paint first. Yeah, there was a, so, there was a lot of '90s music. So there's like some nostalgic '90s stuff in there, like the blockbuster. Oh yeah, and the blockbuster. A lot of, a lot of grunge. Yeah. yeah, the blockbuster had movies in it from like uh, they had Hook, uh, Terminator Two, and stuff like that. Oh damn! And, True uh, Lies. True Lies. She blew up uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Who was like a, a poster in the True Lies and stuff? She like shot him, and I was like, "Man, that was a good movie." Don't be disrespecting <laughs> that movie. And uh, but there, and so they like during a lot of the fight scenes, they they played a lot of '90s music. And to me, I the reason I give it a six point a six out of seven was because a lot of the music didn't uh, go with what was going on in the movie. You know what I'm saying? It didn't match the the tone of the movie. So I was like, you think they did just to put out like a, an accompanying soundtrack that people would buy? Yeah. I, I think they just like, this is like, Oh, this is quintessential nineties music. We're just going to place it in this thing. And it's just like in yeah. this scene. And it just didn't match. I was like, man, you could have like, like the final fight scene, they did no doubts. I'm just a girl. Right. And sure. There could have been a message there, you know, cause I'm just a girl. She's the first female superhero by Marvel. And stuff like that, a connection, right? But the, the it didn't mean that's not a fight song. They should have put in like uh, "Them Bones" by you know Alice in Chains or something like that. Something that makes people want to jump into the pit and like start you know hitting people, Man, killing in the name of. Yeah, killing in the name of. Yeah, <laughs> what your favorite uh, sabotage. Sabotage. They could have done that. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> because you know it. That right there, once that song started playing, it just took me out. It it, it wasn't. It took me out of the immersion of the film. I was like, this song doesn't yeah. match this movie at all. Like yeah. at no point does this song belong in this movie at all. And that was the only mm. time. And that's why. And it no it, doubt, man. Yeah, <laughs> it, it ruined the entire climax of that fight scene for me, man. And then oh, and the cat dude, the cat turned out to be a a, a squid. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. You, well, you, you know, there's going to be something crazy with the cat, and so yeah. When you finally see what what the deal was, it was it was quite hilarious. Oh my bad, Michael. Yeah. I forgot to ask you. What do you thought about the the music? You know, give give me your. Hey, it's, it's, some of the music was good, but you're right. You know, I, I, some of it, it, they probably could have made better selections based upon you know, maybe the situation. But then again, you look at licensing as well. You know, there may be songs that maybe wanted to use they could just couldn't get the licensing or didn't want to pay them enough for. Oh, I see what you mean. That could be it. Yeah. Man. Anyways, yeah, so the but cat... It was, it was okay. Back to the cat, though. He was a, he was a hilarious... The whole Sam Jackson and the cat thing at the end was... Yeah. And, and the scroll, he was like... Okay, so Sam Jackson's got the cat in his lap. And the, that squirrel, I don't know his name. He's like, you shouldn't have that in your lap. They're all Australian, by the way. Space Australians. <laughs> Space Australians. <laughs> From down under. Yeah, all of them Australians, dude. The ones that don't get shot. <laughs> so they, he's like, I can't do How do you, who knows how to speak Australian? It's just, it's just English. Oh, how do you, how do you, you know, Australian <laughs> accent? Dude, he's like, you shouldn't have that in, in your lap. And, and he's like, it's just a cat. And it's hilarious because cat mother. Yeah, they just, Oh man, the scrolls were like well, amazing. The, the, 
the threat level assessments too. They put him like low to none. They put the cat very high. <laughs> yeah, dude, it was. Oh man, it was, it was so awesome because they were scanning them, right, Lalo? Mm-hmm. And they scanned the cat, and it says like like Michael said, high, you know, dangerous. And they put like a little muzzle on it and stuff, and it's like meow. And they put a muzzle on it, and and then they scan Sam Jackson, and they're like, oh, z- uh, z- zero to no threat at all, or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> He's like that thing's got to be broken, <laughs> and then the cat opens up and it's like this giant squid thing. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's, it's well, like, they kept calling it something else. I don't even remember a, what it's called. A but. furlough, a furlough, a furlong, something Faylong. Like that. Yeah, we'll just call it Faylong. A furlough. Yeah, yeah. Furlough day. <laughs> furlough cat. Yeah. Uh, Roto. Okay, so, so yeah. Th- go things ahead. Like that really, really uh, it kept me interested in the movie. You know, yeah. because again, really, her 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 journey, her things, it was just okay. like Black Panther. Yeah, it was just like Black Panther. You you didn't care too much about the main character. It was the side characters. You know, instead yeah. of being the villain like mm-hmm. uh, Warmonger, it was Sam Jackson and his yeah and his interaction with these extraterrestrial beings and stuff like that. And it shows you how he gets his eye cut out, dude. Oof. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to spoil that on this show. You'll no. just have to watch it because that's amazing. But yeah, you, and, but and the, that's that's Rosie's um, something. Rosie was talking about is like throughout the whole movie, you keep thinking, okay, this is when it's going to happen. This is when it's going to happen. He's going to lose an eye. He's going to lose an eye. <laughs> and when he finally does, <laughs> yeah, because man, because something always happens. He's always got like a like a uh, a damage or bleeding or something like that. It gets cut just with yeah. the eye or hit. Mm-hmm. Man, they yeah. they they, uh, they foreshadow it. You. <laughs> but okay, look, but okay. So overall, the movie was pretty good. Let's get to the end credit. Okay, the ending credit, Michael, mm-hmm. where it shows Captain America, Scarlet, not Scarlet Witch, uh, Scarlet Johansson, the Black Widow, and Bruce Banner, and uh, it's a pretty recent uh, sign because they're they have. Uh, uh, what should we call it? The pager. The pager. The pager. They have the pager mm-hmm. the inside. The one you see at the end of Infinity War. Exactly. And they and they have it, and they're looking at it, and it's still going off, calling Captain Marvel, right? Because she had flown off into space to go find the Skrulls a new home or something like that, and to end mm-hmm. the Skrull Kree War. Mm-hmm. And uh, so it's it's blinking, then it stops. And Captain America's there, right? And he's like, why did it stop? Get it back working. And he still has his beard, unlike in the the trailers for the new, you know, in game where he just clean shaved. He's mm-hmm. still got his beard, so you know it's real recent. And Scarlett Johansson, her hair is still blonde and short, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And and what what she say? She's like, I want to know who it's calling. Scarlett said the, you know, Black Widow. And she turns around and there's Captain Marvel right there. She's she's like, Where's Fury? And she's like young, she's still young. She's still uh, uh. Amanda said her hair was different, but I didn't even notice it. I was looking at her teeth. <laughs> <laughs> teeth, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so, so let's go, now that we know the secret ending, we can speculate on some things. We can speculate that in game is going to have there's going to be a time leap in the movie. Because they haven't shown anything with Captain Marvel in the in the trailers, and that the the characters are clean shaven, their hairs are longer, i.e., uh, what's her name, Scarlett Johansson's hair is also now red instead of blonde. The way it's supposed to be right. So so they must Captain Marvel must leave Earth once she finds out that uh, what's his name's gone. You know, Fury's gone. She must leave to go look for something. Right? She's the one to find Stark. She that's the that's it. That's what I'm thinking. That she's gonna be the one to go find Tony Stark. Because they were fighting Probably so. the planet. But then you know it could also be the Guardians as well. Which ones? The ones the with, ones that are still alive. With Sylvester Stallone? Those Guardians? They maybe, or the or the other ones that are still alive. It doesn't necessarily have to be Marvel, but it could be. Could be, yeah. And what, what Guardians are you talking about? I think the only ones left alive is Rocket. Mm. 
Remember? Because they all got dusted except for Rocket. Even Groot got dusted, and he mm-hmm. didn't even deserve it. Or what? Mantis. She definitely didn't deserve it. <laughs> she was like one of my favorite characters. <laughs> and then Gamora got murdered. So. Yeah, Gamora. And then uh, what was. What's the last guy? What's his name? The Star Lord? The one guy Batista plays. Um, oh, oh, Drax. Drax. Did he survive or not? No, he oh. got dusted too. Did he? Okay. Yeah, that entire team just got decimated. I mean, worse than the Avengers. Pretty much. It's probably been best for them not to even go to Earth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or not even get involved. <laughs> Man, dude, bad luck, man. But yeah, uh, talking about the Guardians, though, I'm a little off subject. I want to see they got to have an interaction, an interaction between Rocket and a real raccoon. They he he's been on Earth for five years or more. There's got to be he's got to run into a real raccoon, man. <laughs> That's probably gonna be the comic relief in there. <laughs> I mean, oh yeah. I mean, he just got to be. Yeah, if he makes it to Earth at some point. <laughs> yeah, because he's on Earth. Remember at the end with uh, with Thor. Mm. So I mean, as hopefully he does run into. Maybe he meets his like his mom and stuff. He's like, "Hey, what's up?" And she's like, <laughs> and he's like, "Oh," and he meets his like five hundred siblings because they're you know they hump like rabbits and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe oh, what if he meets a girlfriend? She's like a raccoon, and she's like. And you're like, come on, babe. <laughs> oh. The anyway. Trash Panda. Yeah, Trash Panda. <laughs> so, Endgame comes out in a month. A little over a month. Comes out the 26th of April. 26th. Ooh. Man, and it, that's, that's just going to change the world. It's going to change the world, man. Uh, Captain Marvel did April's add... Gonna be busy. What? April's going to be a busy month. You got Game of Thrones coming out. Yeah. Uh. Avengers coming out. Yeah, Game of Thrones, man. Oh. DC's kind of silent, though, aren't they? Yeah, okay, talking about DC, did you have... I thought this was strange and, and nice of Marvel because there was a DC uh, Sazam trailer in Captain Marvel. There was a oh, trailer true. for it. That's at true, the, there was that. Oh, damn. And uh, so I'm thinking, man, Marvel's being really kind. They must be like... Here's a helping hand, yeah. DC, because we know you in troubles and shit. Well, they are going to get uh, Elders Abba for Suicide Squad. Elders, El- yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. He's going to play Will Smith's part. There was he's in another movie. I saw there was a trailer with him in it for in Captain Marvel. He oh, uh, that Shakes and Hobbs or whatever Stones and Hobbs, Fast and the Furious, yeah, oh, yeah. Sh- Shark. Shaw, Sh- Shane? Hobbs and Shaw. Hobbs, Hobbs and Shaw. Shaw. Yeah. Hobbs he, and Shaw. Elbers, Elbers, Hobbs, I don't know. How do you say his name? Elbers Abba. Abba, Abba, Abba. He, <laughs> Abba he's Abba, the Abba. bad guy, dude. He's like some superhuman bad guy. He's like all yeah. punching through walls and metal and stuff. And I'm like, wow, oh, did we really just skip into like next, lo- <laughs> you know, <laughs> Captain America level <laughs> stuff, man? I don't know. So, yeah, so there's that movie. But the DC movie thing I thought was very kind of Marvel to do. Uh, Shazam doesn't look like a movie I want to watch. It, it just... No. It, no, it's too corny. But you're right. They were heavily... At least the theater I was in, they, they had that. And then, like, the uh, the pre... Like, the you know, the programming they have, like, before the movie starts. Uh, a lot of the stuff was very heavily Captain... Uh, or uh, Shazam-based. Yeah. So yeah, so I so that makes me wonder if if Marvel can pick what trailers come up before, or is that just every theater deciding this is going to go I here? Think it's just a theater. Mm-hmm. Well, somebody needs to tell Marvel, and they need to cut that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> no free advertising for the competition. You know what I mean? <laughs> so we got Universal's Disney's over here. We don't need Warner Brothers. Exactly, man, dude. But uh, yeah, so yeah, c- congratulations to Marvel. She, uh, Captain Marvel made what almost five hundred million dollars in in the first weekend. Yep, becoming the Did second, it? yeah, second to only uh, Infinity War in opening great uh, opening box office. Whatever I, money making. You know what? I have a feeling it's probably going to slump pretty bad this weekend, though. You think so? I think so because I think a lot of it was just initial hype. Yeah. But to be honest, it was not a great movie. So I, I think. It, it's going to have. It, I don't think it's going to have a lot of, of legs on it. 
Really? You don't think it's going to do uh, Black Panther money? Oh, no. No, I really don't. Man. I may be wrong, but I, I, that's just the feeling I get. I don't think it's going to... I get that feeling, too. It's going to keep keep on. Huh? I get that feeling, too, Michael. That it's not going to yeah. do Black Panther money, but I, I think it's going to do enough money that they might do a sequel if she survives in-game. But... That's, um, I don't know about that. You don't think it, it's possible? I mean, it's it's always within the realm of possibility, but I, if if it is, it's going to be I'm thinking way down the line. Yeah. All right, all right. Anyways, that's all I got on Captain Marvel. It was a a solid seven, no six out of seven. Work on that music selection, people. Next time, that's all I got to say. What about you, Michael? Final score. Final score out of seven? Yep. Four. Woo! Man, yeah. that, hurt, that hurt my feelings. <laughs> yeah. Well, again, it, it was just, it wasn't really my type of movie. I, I watched it, it was okay, but it, it wasn't, it wasn't as good as the last couple, or the last Spider-Man. It wasn't as good as the last, you know, Avenger one. Um, it wasn't as good as the Captain America's. It had it had some stiff competition as far as the Marvel Universe movies. Huh. I mean, it's just not to me. wasn't very strong. It wasn't Fantastic Four, but it wasn't very strong. I I I would place it. it I would put it right there with um, the Iron Man and Captain America movies. You know, or Ant Man. Okay. More, more recent Ant Man, Ant Man Two, Ant Man Part One, Captain Marvel. They're all the same level. They're not great movies. They're they're good movies they're pretty good mm-hmm. she didn't add too much to the overall universe like Adman does Adman doesn't he doesn't add anything overall universe um sure she had a lot of recurring characters in her movie but you know they yeah. really just did a bunch of cameos you know what i'm saying yeah P- probably one thing well, you know too is, uh, is people are tired of prequels you know what <sighs> yeah the prequel thing really threw me off too man but you know they really haven't done a, a lot of that with the uh, the Marvel stuff, so it, it's it's not like we're getting burned out from from the Marvel right. prequel. Yeah, that's true. Um, and you know, and she may play a, a large role, and and you've been speculating before that she may play a very large role in the whole um, upcoming, you know, Avengers movie. Yeah, I, I hope she does. I mean, her power set, man, is incredibly higher than anybody we've ever seen. So yeah. I mean, like the only thing I think she, the only person that might be at her level right now would be probably Thor, only if he has that weapon, that axe, because that axe was like going through ships and stuff, or allowing, allowing, uh, you know, know, Thor to go through ships and just fly through Don't them, destroy them. Girl, <laughs> squirrel girl, come <laughs> on, dude. Oh, talking about mutants. Okay, so, uh, real quick, I, I, I think that. Uh, okay, so I was explaining to Lalo. Captain Marvel is the first mutant in the uh, MCU. Uh, first, then second would be Scarlet Witch and her dead brother, Quicksilver. And let me explain this real quick, because I explained it earlier to Lala and it made a lot more sense when I said it out loud. Okay, so you know how the Mind Stone gave the powers, awoke latent abilities inside the, uh, you know, the twins, just like it says in their manual or whatever it says. Okay, so the, this power of the Tesseract of the Space Stone unlocked latent abilities inside of her giving her the reason not that she didn't die and the reason i you could say that she's also of the same elk as the other two of the twins because her power you know is that smoky uh you know dusty look just like you know scarlet witch's red stuff it's that red smoke stuff Mm. and when Quicksilver was running, it was always that silver smoke stuff, silverly blue. That, and so, the aura? That, well, whatever it is, when they do their power, they do that. <laughs> the come, aura? Yeah. And so, Captain Marvel is that yellowish orange. And so, I know that mm-hmm. she, that to me, that tells me that she's the first mutant. So, when the people come back from the Space Stone or the Soul Stone, when they come back to that, they're exposed to the power of the Infinity <laughs> Stones. And so it's going to wake up all their latent abilities, and you're going to have the mutants, and you're going to have the X Men, and that's how they're going to introduce them. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> L- you're wrong. Go ahead. 
<laughs> you think I'm wrong? Yeah, I do. I, I don't think she's considered mutant at all. I uh, man, okay. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> 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 Your theory has been brought down again. <laughs> well, well, we'll see. We'll see how, how wrong I am at the end of Endgame. When the X-Men Wolverine shows up, Hugh Jackman shows up, and he's like, chink. And it's going to be all like silvery gold or uh, silvery uh, <laughs> mist. But, you know, you see the connection, though, right, Michael? Don't you? I, I know where you're going with it. I just don't agree. Okay, that's fine, I guess. I mean, yeah, uh, I mean, it, it's, you can agree with me or not agree with me on this show. I mean, that's fine. I mean, it's good to have different opinions and stuff, you know, and stuff. So, uh, I know, because it's, it's you, you're saying it's unlocking the power, but it's like saying that the Gamma Rays unlocked the latent power that was already in Bruce Banner or that Super Soldier Serum unlocked what was already within Captain America. Okay, okay, but you got to think about it. Bruce Banner was hit with the gamma radiation. He didn't wasn't touched by an infinity stone. That's why when if he transformed, there's no green mist smoke or whatever. And the same thing okay. with the super serum. When the, that's why you know uh, Winter Soldier and Captain America don't have that misty stuff around them when they use their powers. You know because the that mist is the connection that tells you that their powers are coming from somewhere else. You know. Uh, they that their powers are originated from or are unlocked whatever anyways i don't know where i'm going now <laughs> the oh, connection is the they're from the <laughs> infinity stone okay fine fuck it you know <laughs> anyways moving on <laughs> let's move on to the cringe news <laughs> that was a cluster <laughs> lala you got some cringe news for us man <laughs> let's go to cringe <laughs> <laughs> who's got who's, who's got some cringe news, man? <laughs> man, I, I got this one cringe news. It, I I thought about it when, when Michael said SmackDown, uh huh. Because I actually thought about about the Undertaker. Oh no! Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, this guy in Florida dressed up as the Undertaker got the bartender from a bar and tried to tombstone him. <laughs> what? <laughs> Because he's saying he's the real Undertaker. <laughs> what? <dude? laughs> the the bartender was saying he was the real Undertaker. No, the the guy that walked into oh, the, the bar, guy, the guy cosplaying or whatever. Yeah, he was trying to tombstone him. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> what a fucking lameo, dude! <laughs> I'm the real Captain Marvel. Watch me shoot you with my beams. <laughs> I'm the real. I'm the real fucking. Uh, what's that guy? DDP. Watch me do the diamond cutter. <laughs> yeah. Did he work? Did he do it? No, he got arrested. <laughs> Dude, what, what if you try to give him the last ride off the uh, off the top of the bar? The last ride. The last ride. <laughs> Man, he hit his head on the ceiling. <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, that guy's oh, done. Ho- hopefully, he spends a long, cold <laughs> night in jail with some <laughs> some very good friends of his, <laughs> and they uh, they teach him something about giving people a last ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit! On. I got I've got a he- good headline, but just not much to it. Okay, give me give, give me that headline. All right, a uh, woman suffers stroke after oral sex orgasm causes brain bleed. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just pulled that up just now. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. She, okay, she suffers orgasm from oral sex? No, stroke. Yeah. It, it's just a matter of timing is what it was. But yeah, she was she was enjoying some oral pleasures <laughs> and uh, suffered a, a, an aneurysm. Oh, my God. She didn't bite down, did she? I mean, I mean <laughs> no, he's the one so that had to bite down. She was the recipient, not the giver. Oh, she was a recipient. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's sad. I mean, did she die? Yeah, see, it works both ways there sometimes. Ricky. Well, I mean, I mean <laughs> my bad. Uh, <laughs> I only know one perspective. <laughs> yeah, here's, here's the headline for it in Huff Your News. <laughs> did she die? Read the, did the, the, the Huff Post. Here's the headline they put. I don't it says, think she did. It says, if you're dying for an orgasm, think twice. <laughs> Oh my goodness, man! See, I always I that's one of my main concerns too. Nowadays that I'm older, is you know I you get 
going vigorously. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and with such ferocity, I want. I, sometimes I got to slow down because I wonder if I'm about to have a heart attack or if I'm about to just, you know, jizz. <laughs> <laughs> just stroke out. <laughs> yeah, like I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. <laughs> but you know, oh, it's, that's that's the power of getting old, I guess. Man, happens to everyone. Hopefully, she's old. Hopefully, she didn't die. And if you have stories like that, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to find us on uh, social media and tell us those stories. We'll read them online. Well, not online. We'll yeah. read them online and on the show. <laughs> and we'll let the <laughs> world know. You know what I'm saying? You can find all those social media links down in the show notes, by the way. <laughs> and we'll kink shame. No no kink shaming. <laughs> oh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lala will. I don't care. You... <laughs> I don't care, dude. I want to. I want to hear those stories, dude. <laughs> I was going we'll, down we'll on her. We'll keep you anonymous, though. Yeah, yeah. We'll keep it anonymous. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we won't. <laughs> like, this, is, this is this is Greg from uh, Montana. He said he was going down on this girl, and she took a dump right on his face when she orgasmed. <laughs> I saw that in the movie. Oh, gross! She fell off the bed. <laughs> yeah, man. Her oh. leg squeezed so tight, broke his neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that was a fake fake news. Well, <laughs> what's what's another Shit, one? Huh? I, I got another one. Yeah, wait, wait. This one is okay. Go. It was it would have been local for me, uh-huh. but now that I moved, it's not local. Oh, <laughs> it's in Abilene, 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 Texas. Oh, man. <laughs> it says up? a man says he was stabbed by a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> for revving his engine what <laughs> oh man so the guy sitting in his truck revving it up he gets shanked out of nowhere <laughs> <laughs> just an arm comes out of nowhere Pop. yeah you that's know not, what that's not funny i don't blame him <laughs> yeah no kidding dude i mean you can't be like it, what kind, was it a was a little was it a little honda civic was it a big old fart can or was it a big old diesel blowing out that black smoke? I don't know. Because both ends are annoying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Because, man. Well, I mean, well, he he learned. <laughs> now you learn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Deeper window rolled up. <laughs> yeah, that's how I suck. Dude, man. Well. I just wonder if just sad. Okay, what do you got? A new service promises to manipulate your wife into having sex with you. What? Oh, damn. Really? You have to have a service to get your wife to... to that's that's how, sad, man. How did you even get married? You're like... You're like I need I need sex on Tuesday, so uh, make sure uh, you like send her emails or something like that, or have, or you contact her boss and tell her that hey, you gotta have sex today or something. How does that even work? You're like I don't, you know, and, and it's just it, it. It's not even you doing it. Apparently, it's some service that you. Use oh, you know what it is. To do this. You know what it is. I bet you they get some guy that looks like Fabio. He comes up, flirts with her all day, and when she's like, "What's up? What's up?" and she gets all roundy, and then he's like, "Well, I gotta go," and then she goes home to you. Right? <laughs> Would that work? I guess that works. Yeah. Because you know, when you look at me, you be like, <laughs> vomiting. But if she, because it'll be like on Grown Ups, you know, the guy from uh, Remi- Shisnakua or whatever. <laughs> Reminds me of Hitch. Hitch. Yeah, Will Smith and uh, what's his name? Kevin Smith. No. You hear that silence? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it gets quiet in here. No, but well, what? I don't know. I've never seen no snitch. I've seen Snatch. <laughs> no, Hitch. Never seen that one either, man. I've seen Hitchhiker's Guide. Right. I've, I've seen Hitch. Well, yeah. good job, Michael. <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Wow, it's had two viewers. Yeah, man. <laughs> two people saw that movie. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Dad. Proud of you. <laughs> well, I got this other sad one. All right. It, it comes on the comes of the manipulation or whatever. Oh, shit. <laughs> this judge in Italy was a... Uh, no, yes, yeah, Italy... <laughs> He claims that the, the the person that got raped was too ugly to get raped, so oh. he so he dropped the case. 
No. Man. Oh, yeah. my God, dude. That. Yeah, that Italy outraged horrible. as court finds victim too ugly to be raped. Wow, dude. That that judge, yeah, Dang. he got paid off by the mafia, dude. <laughs> That's got to. He he got in his car this morning. And there was a check in there for like ten million dollars. They're like, mm-hmm. let you it know, go. I could only hope that judge revs his truck in Abilene. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, dude, let him rev his truck real good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you rave. <laughs> I'll make you real ugly. <laughs> Damn. Damn, man. I really, man. That's 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 terrible. Yeah. Man. What's the world coming to, man? Oh no, man! I'm not going to Italy. Me either, dude. I just go to Olive Garden, man. <laughs> Olive Garden. <laughs> Olive Garden sounds good. Anyways, all right, y'all got one more. Here's, here's a stupid one. All right, as the parents are outraged over a 40 ounce water bottle that resembles a malt liquor bottle. <laughs> I saw that. I'm offended. It looks like a white plastic bottle. <laughs> yeah. What? I mean, how many different shapes can you make Wait, a clear plastic bottle? But does really? the bottle have that long neck like a liquor bottle? It probably says no. 40. It just says 40 on it because it's 40 up in the water. People get mad over the stupidest shit, dude. I'm offended. Man, there's some snowflakes around here. I'm offended that they're offended. <laughs> I'm Me offended too. too, man. I went out of my way to build that design. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and fill it up with clean water that looks like vodka. <laughs> man, what it, what it is is just making those parents thirsty for vodka. They're like, man, I can't wait to get home. Oh, man, dude. these little brats. They, 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 they put water in my forty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know that's what I used to do. Put water in my my parents. Uh, you know, because they used to mark the tape or mark the line on the bottle, and I just replace it with water or tea if it was like brown <laughs> or tea. Yeah, you never did that. You make tea, right? Because it's the same color as like bourbon or uh, or anything else as a dark brandy or whatever. You make tea and you pour it in there and it just looks the same. You never did that? Mm-hmm. Never mind. Doesn't really? matter. Nope. All right. So there you go. <laughs> a little oh, bit about man. me. <laughs> but there you go. Remember, this is going huh? back. This is going back to Utah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Is it the same thing? <laughs> it's a fornication will no longer be. Be illegal in Utah. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God! What? What? It was illegal to have sex in Utah. <laughs> but what about if it was your cousin? <laughs> <laughs> what about if it was your cousin, man? You mean, can you go? Can you? Can, I don't can know. you? Can you dig the well, <laughs> even though it's already family plot? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean. Wow, Utah man, Utah. Uh, good go, job, go Utah. getters. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've got one last one. Oh no, go ahead, go ahead. All right, uh, this is uh, reported by Fox News. Billionaire dies during penis enlargement procedure. Oh snap! <laughs> it was too big. <laughs> well, they couldn't get the vein on, dude. <laughs> He's trying to have it all, man. He's got the money. Now he's trying to have. It. Oh man, that's a terrible way to die, dude. No dick in hand. You know what? Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, he got too excited for it. Oh man, it was it was during the operation, so they had already chopped it off. And man. I, I don't think that works. I don't think they cut it off, sir. You don't think so? I think they have to. They, they like add I like think... some baloney in the middle and <laughs> some baloney, <laughs> and then they sew it back together. <laughs> you think they section it like that? <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, it's, it's I don't know how they do it, dude. I don't know. I mean, honestly, I, I have no idea either how they're supposed to do that. But I, yeah, I apparently know. didn't it didn't work out for him. Man, I, now I'm not going to go do it then. <laughs> I'm going to call my doctor and cancel my appointment. Ooh. Man, dude. Imagine the lawsuit is going to be on that. Well, who's, who's going to sue? Man, the family. <laughs> the wife that wanted it bigger. <laughs> Trust me, she was already getting it somewhere else. Uh, if, 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 he was, if he was so concerned, he had to be single, dude. He had to be single. <gasps> oh, dude, that's what it was. Man, yeah. that's probably that micro... One. Oh, dude. Oh, now you're making me more sad, dude. What well, can you think about the funeral? Oh, you're going to have two. But like, how did he die? How did he die? Huh? I mean, 
I wonder if they're gonna put put it in a little baggie in there in the box for him, <laughs> or they're gonna have a little casket for it. <laughs> You can say goodbye to the <laughs> to the little buddy. <laughs> That's why you never go to Baba Institutes. Oh no! Oh no! Too soon. <laughs> that happened in the nineties. <laughs> too soon. Too it's soon. always it's always too soon, man, for Bob. It's man. It's always too soon. <laughs> too soon, bro. Too soon. <laughs> I'm gonna dock your pay. <laughs> That makes me sad. Y'all made me sad, man. Now I got no hope. Well, hey, there were there were no animal stories. Thank God. Thank mm-hmm. God. <laughs> no animals this week. Except Thank for you trying to get Rock at a girlfriend. Hey, yeah, we did we did we did end up on animals, didn't we? <laughs> no. No, no, we did not. <laughs> Rocket man, they should do a little like a steamy sex scene with Rocket and like some raccoon. Man, that's PG thirteen. That's kids. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. My bad. Take that back. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, he started his own fan it, 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 Hey, <laughs> hey, on channel thirteen, they show PBS kids. They show animals doing it. Lions and zebras. I mean, zebras and uh, gazelles. The you know no no the kids oh, are they talking with a New York accent while they're doing it? <laughs> Yo, I don't know how to do New York accent. Michael, Michael, give me New York. What? Okay, awesome. <laughs> Lala, give me New York accent. Awesome. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. All right. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know New York. Me either, man. I tried to learn a British accent. I can't do it. I know. How, <laughs> I, I know how to say water in British. Water. Water. No. Water. Why? Why? You want some why? That's that's the dirty British speaking. <laughs> yeah. That's British. Why? Why that? Why? Oh, dear Lord. Yeah. Okay. So We're my. Jesus started talking cockney. <laughs> so yeah. my, my goal this year is to get a British accent or a British friend. Boom. That's my goal. So if you're British out there, find me on uh, the social media links on the bottom and the show notes, and uh, we'll get you on the show. British people. What? Mm. What? <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> we'll get you to read the headlines. What? Uh, uh, that's the only thing. That's the only thing I learned how to that's speak British. <laughs> <laughs> was that your? Was that your attempt at British? It's, that's about bad, dude. That's terrible. So, so Ricky, if, if you're talking to someone who's English, do you try to do an English accent while you're talking to them? <laughs> exactly, dude. <laughs> No, I'm asking you. Do you try to do that? Yes, yes. I'm asking oh, no. you. Yes, oh, yes. No. I try to like make them uh-uh. feel comfortable. What? I'm like chip, chip, cheerio. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know they're far from home if they're in Texas, dude. Oh no, Spider Man. No. <laughs> I, I have an experience of uh, that happening around Christmas time. Um, niece's boyfriend was visiting from Scotland. Oh, no. And the entire time that he was here for the Christmas party, uh, another family member was talking to him and trying to do a, a Scottish accent the entire time. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> they ricky him. No, dude, for real. <laughs> I was just joking, seriously, though. Seriously. Were they, were they trying to pass I, off I, as Scottish? No. Oh man! I, I I have no idea why he was doing it. It was just it was. <laughs> hey, th- hey! I you know what? Let I I'll go for it, man. If you never meet a Scottish person, try to do the Scottish <laughs> accent. Just like I had one British friend. His name was Glenn, and I tried to speak British to him, and he was always like, "Ray, you dumb as shit." <laughs> You can't do it. <laughs> Sound like that, dude, all the time. He was the coolest guy I ever met. <clears throat> man, Glenn, if you're out there. He was a cool guy. Glenn, if you're out there, man. What? What? <laughs> man, what now? That, that, that's like like other Adam states <laughs> when they portray us us Texans oh, in movies. Dude. Hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> it's like, when the oh. hell did I ever talk like that? Just now. <laughs> Just now, and I, big I, country. I don't ever talk like this all the time. How they portray us in movies. You have the thickest that twang. That would drive me nuts if someone tried to do that to me. Yeah, I go watch a movie and then I'll 
Hey, y'all, I'm from Texas, y'all. We we ride horses and buggies and. Give me, give me a piece of the ham. I don't, know, I can't do an accent. Come on now. I wish I had an accent. Seriously, I really, really wish I had an accent, man. Does any accent? You have, you have an accent. I do. What you accent? Have an accent? We all have accents. We're just used to hearing it. Mm-hmm. Okay, L- ladies and gentlemen, if you know what accent I have, let me know. I had. Okay, you know what? I want a real accent. I want to sound like Peggy Bundy or uh, or what's her name? What's her name? Family Guy. Oh, Peter, Peter, Peter. Uh, Lois, <laughs> Lois, Lois. <laughs> you know, or I want to sound like Stewie. You want a New England accent? <laughs> I want to sound like a New Englander. <laughs> you know where they they sound like this? A Bostonite. Yeah. What? A Bostonite. A Bostonite. Ka. 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 Get to the ka. Ka. Oh yeah, yeah. Boston accents are. Yeah, I want. Uh, I want a Boston uh, accent. Uh, yeah, I, I had a coworker who uh, had a Boston accent. It was, it was it was funny sometimes. So, I mean, it was funny to me. I'm sure she's just hilarious. You know, when I'm talking. <clears throat> mm-hmm. But you, I I just yeah. really want an accent. <sighs> <laughs> they just burn your tongue a little bit. Burn my tongue. You yeah. know, it, then you have a lift, a lift, <laughs> and then I'll just start tarted. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, look. I think this is why I can't speak you, Spanish because my tongue is really fat. A lisp? A lisp? Oh, oh, and then I can sound like the guy in uh, uh, Princess Bride. Um, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today in marriage. <laughs> marriage is. Uh, I can't do it. <laughs> you probably sound like Andre the Giant. Would you like a peanut? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want a peanut? There you go. There you go. There's your accent. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Spot on. Dude. Ah, uh, I don't want him to die. <laughs> or what does he say? I don't want him to die embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it, dude. I want a good accent. I want a British or an Australian. In the Bobby. The Bobby. Strip on the Bobby. That's what I want. I want a good, good accent. British or Australian. This is where the the listeners just died off. Yeah, man. They've already quit it. I'm going to cut this shit out like 20 minutes ago, dude. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode of Geeked Up Radio with your lovely host, Ricky, the Jolly Rancher Commander, with Lalo, Big Country, and Michael, <laughs> Little Country. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> and uh, if you want to be part of this conversation, let us know what accents we have. We're you can find us on the social media links down in the show notes, and we'll uh, we'll read your uh, what you think what our accents are because I don't think I have one. Lalo sounds like country. Michael sounds like a New Englander, like he's from Boston. What? And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so let us know. And if you have any speculations on how Marvel, Captain Marvel uh, ties into Endgame or what's going to happen with, you know, the mutants, let us know. We're, we're, we're oh. willing to read it. Oh, well, you got something? Okay. Yeah, well, how, how about Captain Marvel, mutant or not? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. We'll put that on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. And uh, yeah, so let us know. We're hoping to hear from you. All right, Lalo, as always, as always, we'd like to ask you, Lalo, turn, turn, turn. Tell us the lesson we should learn. Man, I'm just going to tell everybody thank you for no weird animal news. <laughs>